Alright, so next thing, let's add in a scrolling background. So this is the scrolling background that I made. I made this with a digital camera mostly. <laughs> you got all these in the background. <laughs> I, I couldn't help. All these is one of my favorite stores, so I just had to include it in here. So we got this background here. I'm just gonna save this. Okay, so now we're going to just go down to the background section and just change out the background. So instead of my background, we're going to have street.png. So that's taken care of. And the next thing, we're going to change this code. So since we're going to be doing the scrolling background now, we're going to go down to the walking section. Oh, here we are. So, so I'm just going to put some space between here, and then I'm just going to paste in this part. So, so this essentially says Henry's going to walk, but once he gets to the uh, 300 coordinate, that's when the background will start scrolling, and Henry won't be able to go any further than the X coordinate of 300. Kind of like, you know, the old Nintendo game Mario. Before the background scrolls, Mario got to get to a certain coordinate. And I'm going to show you that again when we run our game. And we're going to go down here to this left. And we're just going to post something similar for the left. So when Henry goes back to the 100th X coordinate, the background will go back the other way. And it'll look like Henry's going, uh, going back. So let me show you how all this looks. Okay, so there we go. You see? Now, you know, when see Henry's not, Henry can move around all until he gets to the 300th X coordinate. And the same thing is true when Henry gets to the 100th X coordinate. He goes back. So that's what we want. And one thing I want to do now is. I want to get rid of them, those rectangles, because we don't need those rectangles anymore. So I'm just going to scroll down and just comment out the rectangles. I, I usually don't delete things like that because you never know when we're going to need them again. So I usually just comment out those little helper rectangles. So let's play this again. See? Wow. See? So now it's looking more like a game now. Sounding like a game too. And then we got our jump. Okay, so that's what we needed. 